question. Thank you and uh, good morning. Allow me to stand on the already established protocols and allow me to say how happy I am that I did get out of bed in the middle of the rain coming from far east and I said to myself, I am getting up, I am putting on this jersey, I am putting on my makeup, I am coming to town, we will walk, we will celebrate, and we will have a good time, even if I were the only one here doing it, so I am certainly very, very happy that there are so many of you here doing this celebration with me. Welcome uh, to those who came from Trinidad representing the association. Welcome to the better of the two islands. Am I allowed to say that? Yes. We are in Tobago. <laughs> so welcome to Tobago, even though it is raining, even though it is uh, bleak. It is a wonderful and amazing day. And thank you so much for weathering to come even today. So I want to chat a little bit about the theme which speaks about closing the gap. Ralph, you good there? <laughs> so let's pretend that is not happening. Maybe you should just say them down, Ralph. Let's talk really quickly about closing the gap. What is the gap that we are closing? Let's think about it a little bit. We want to get to the point where every single woman who has given birth to a baby feels comfortable breastfeeding. Remember, the word is comfortable breastfeeding. Because we know in many instances, it is not a comfortable exercise. And in many instances, because of whatever other situation, the woman, the mother, may not feel at her best while breastfeeding. So we need to develop a space that allows those women to be the best that they can be, to be as comfortable as they can be while providing the best nutritional care for their babies. And that requires us to do a little bit more than just tell them you all have to breastfeed. It requires us to have a space that allows them to be comfortable, a space that allows them to understand why this is so, a space that allows them and their families to be able to make that decision because in many instances it's an actual financial decision that the mother or the family needs to make. It means even in their medical situation that they need to have all of their other issues are treated with so that they can make that comfortable choice for their babies. I just came back from Germany at the HIV conference that we just had in Germany. And one of the things that was a key issue spoken about there is the fact that if we really are to have U equals U, meaning a woman who is living with HIV is fully medicated, is taking care of her HIV status, and she truly is undetectable. It means that she also will be untransmittable, U equals U. And that also is part of what we need to do to ensure, thank you Ralph, to ensure that even those women feel comfortable making the choice to breastfeed because their baby, they know that their babies will be safe. 
So it's all of us doing the education. It's all of us thinking critically about all of the little pieces. It's all of us recognizing that in some instances, this is a very, 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 very difficult decision. And that even as a health professional, you need to be kind and loving and caring in your delivery of the information to them because we are talking about a woman being comfortable making that decision. And that is why I insisted that even in the middle of the rain, I would put on my clothes and put on my makeup and put on my boots and come down here. Because I wanted to show that this policy is one that is supported from the very top. And it is one that we will do whatever it takes to get us to that point where every single woman who has a baby is comfortable making that choice. I want to thank I want to thank all of you again for coming out I want to thank all of the organizers for putting this together I want to thank every single one of you all of the members of the Tobago Regional Health Authority who make it your business to make sure that all of our clients are well taken care of to the breastfeeding association to everyone thank you thank you thank you thank you very much for doing this and we have a little saying in the Tobago House of Assembly that our aim is to make Tobago the greatest little island on the planet. And it is all of us doing all of these little things that will help us to re realize that reality. Thank you and have a blessed day even in the middle of this rain. Thank you. Oh, and there goes the salutation. <laughs> Oh gosh. Thank you very much.